is me, Michelle, and Tackett. And this is Sean. And welcome to Tackett and Tackett Entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. It's the weekend. During the weekdays, we do our Nintendo videos. But on the weekend, we love other entertainment stuff, too. So we're going to do movies and stuff this weekend. And today, we're going to talk about the Mortal Kombat trailer. The new Mortal Kombat movie. There was a couple in the 90s, but... Um, yeah, um, <laughs> best not talk, well, talk about those. About those. Wow, no kidding. You could just tell they were in trouble because they were PG-13, I mean. Oh, and uh, just a uh, heads up for our audience members, this is not for young viewers. Yeah, this is not for the Mr. Monkey, Mr. Hopper crowd or yeah. Mario. And We're showing the trailer and there's a little bit of rough scenes in here, so just. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was a pretty intense scene. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can already, like, it's going to be R-rated, yeah. and rating doesn't mean anything to me, and I'm actually not a fan of violence and stuff, but it's the source material, you know, yeah. and even I know you want to pay tribute to that, mm -hmm. and the tone of it looks like a Mortal Kombat movie so far. It does, and you know, it's still going to be a little campy, Yeah. but wow, this looks like a vast improvement over the other ones. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Christopher Lambert. I have nightmares about him as Raiden. Yeah. It's a cult classic now because of yeah. how bad it is. But yeah. this, on the other hand, the effects look professional. Yeah. It looks intense. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. If, I, if I have to say... Okay, oh, wow. That looks cool, actually. Um, dang. The cinematography is very pretty. And I would also like to, to bring up, this looks really good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know it's not going to be Lord of the Rings. Detective Pikachu, Sonic the Hedgehog, which is on Hulu and uh, Amazon Prime, folks. We're going to rate that. Yeah. But, I mean, video game movies are starting to get good now. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're yeah. starting really to get good. And I, that's that's... That's good. It may not have been the biggest movie of 2019, but Detective Pikachu did make over $400 million, oh, right. and, and Sonic the Hedgehog was, wow, yep. going to do about the same thing. Now this movie could be a big hit. Yeah. It, it's starting to show that if you actually take the source material right. and treat it with respect, yeah. just like comic book movies proved, you'll have big hits on your hand. Yeah, I mean, you know, and just, just show respect. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm still a little bit worried. I mean, the trailer is promising, yeah. but this is Warner Brothers, after all, and they butchered Godzilla vs. King Kong. They tore that movie out of shreds, so I'm hoping they at least keep this uh, good to the source material. Yeah, I mean, and finally, spoiler alert, I'm going to warn you people now, spoiler alert if you don't want to know, but finally... Scorpion is the good guy in this. Sub Zero is the villain. Oh. That's how it was in the you know some of the Mortal Kombat yeah. games. It's going back to like like you said the source material, and yeah. that's a good thing. Stick to the source material, and you can't go wrong. Yeah. I mean, here's hoping someday they actually make a great Resident Evil movie, yeah. not animated, because there've been some good animated oh, yeah. ones. Yeah. But uh, a live action that sticks to the source material, please. <sighs> Yeah, um, all I gotta say is that this does look very promising. Yeah, yeah. It has, like, the acting looks honest and sincere. Yeah. It's not gonna win any awards, but, you know, yeah. at least it's solid, and it's not poking fun at the source material. It's uh, paying wink, tribute wink, wink, to wink. it. Yeah. I hate when the, I hate wink light movies, I do. I mean, you know, I'm the so glad. The last movie, they wink so much that the director of the movie got crust in his eyes from how dry it got from all the, you know, I, I mean. Oh, wow. wow. This is just like night and day. Yep. And it looks dark, intense, and, and it looks wow. very good so far. Yeah. We'll have to wait to see it yeah. to give it a final grade. Mm -hmm. right. but, I'm crossing my fingers. Yeah, because Detective Pikachu was awesome, and we haven't seen Sonic. We're going to watch it and review it, it later. But it looks promising. promising yeah. So, you know what? I'm happy. Yeah. Video game movies are starting to not be a joke now. And this makes all the, the future for 
uh, Mario, the Mario movie, and the the Zelda movie. Yeah. The, uh, all the more promising that they'll actually be pretty good. I know they're going to be animated, but you know what? This is a good sign. It's a very good sign. Yeah. So, I'm going to give the trailer a solid 8 out of 10. I give it an 8 out of 10 as well. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it, it's a good trailer. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a good, it's a good teaser. It does uh -huh. what a good teaser uh -huh. should do. So, uh -huh. I'm impressed. That's all I got to say. Hi everyone, it's me, Michelle and Tackett. This Sean. Welcome to Tackett and Tackett Entertainment. And oh, loaded mercy day, we get to rate a new song by one of the best, Tammy Nelson. Haul your mama. And I have to say that, yes, the old tried and true man cheats on his woman and she don't care anymore. But here's what makes it different. It's Tammy Nelson. Yeah. The delivery is fresh. It's really just sassy. Mm -hmm. Instead of like a lot of songs I've heard like this before are more dramatic and serious and stuff. Hers has a playfulness and a earnest of, you know what, Jack? You did me wrong, so just tell your mama. I don't care. <laughs> but the, the album, I mean, you have to get all her albums, but the two that I love the most... This song, Call Your Mama, is from her Chicka Boom album. Yeah. And then the album before is Sassafras. Yeah, check out the titles, folks. That just shows you she is just a very, very great personality. I mean, she is just so her. I, this is just my opinion. I call her the new Dolly Parton. Yeah. Because I follow her on Twitter. Oh, wow, she is just so Dolly Parton. I mean, she just is, man. <laughs> she is. She her voice is raspy, tough, but there's also a vulnerability there. Mm -hmm. But in this one, it is all about that sass and yep. toughness. And I don't want to deal with you. Get out of my face. The uh, music is can be a little overpowering at times, but it doesn't take away from the song. I, yeah. I think what they were going for is like she's yelling at him and... But a lot of, I am such a fan of her music. I've studied it. Yeah. She goes for that 60s vibe. Yeah. That rockabilly kind of, and sometimes that music was a little overpowering. It was. I don't yeah. think she was doing it to be, you know, she's doing it to bring back that vibe of the old 60s music because mm -hmm. I'm telling you, when you hear songs like Queenie Queenie and uh, Ten Ton Truck, I mean, I've never heard songs like that ever done before. Yeah. And it's it's just, she's just so talented. And she's got so much versatility. She can do 60 Billy. Uh, Rockabilly. Rockabilly. Yeah. And she can do a great ballad. Uh, yeah. I mean, she is just so fantastic. I mean, she does this one song. Oh, I wish I could think of it on top of my head. But it's like an old Western tune. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it is just so hauntingly uh, when beautiful. When You Were Mine. When You Were Mine, yeah. thank you, yes. It's just so, and you're like, wait a minute, is this the same person? It's like, yeah. it's like you buy one of her albums, and her music is so versatile, and so you can't right. believe it's the same person singing so many different styles of songs on one album. Yeah. And all, all her music's like that. It's just yeah. great. Yeah, that is, I like, this is one of my favorite songs because it's so sassy. Tammy does a lot of stuff great, vulnerability and stuff, but for me, my favorite stuff of hers is her sass. Mm -hmm. That don't mess with me or you're gonna, you know, it, it, she reminds you of one of those moms who would take the, the get, who would threaten her kids with a wooden spoon, you know. <laughs> and, I mean, that's just the kind of tough person she's, you know, but yet she's just very versatile. Yeah, and, and the anthem <clears throat> for everyone. Minorities, gays, uh, women, uh, transgender, doesn't matter. Everyone, stay out of my business. Yeah. Anthem for people who are, you know. They want other people to stay away, away from, from you, know, like, yeah. leave us alone. Yeah, leave it, yeah. yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And it, it's just such a, all her songs, she put so much power yeah. and grace into it. And I just, like I said, she, is, and she wins a lot of awards and stuff, too, for having the best album of oh, 2020 yeah. and uh, 2019 and 2018. And I just, <laughs> she is just so fantastic. I cannot stop bragging on this woman enough. I love her. I give this song a nine. I give it a ten. She is right in her yeah. wheelhouse, and yeah. she is a joy to listen yes. to. Yes.
Yes. So, <clears throat> it's, this song is highly recommended. Yep. Highly, highly recommended. And check out some of the other songs that Sean was talking about. Yeah, Ten Ton Truck. Ten Ton Truck. Chicka Boom. Yep. Stay, Stay Out, out, out of, of Mine Business. Yep. Um, uh, when You Were Mine. Yeah, When You yeah, Were Mine. I mean. She is an original. Yes. We, you're like, if you're complaining that there are not enough good music out there, if there are no singer songwriters, and you don't support people like this, then don't don't talk to me. You're exactly. not. You're part exactly. of the problem. Look exactly. up the good music. It's out there. Like I said, she's the new Dolly Parton. You think, Sean? That's a bold statement. When you hear this young yeah. lady sing, you will say, "Wow, she is the new Dolly Parton. Yep. She just is. I love her. She's just so wonderful. And I mean." You know that the, the album that describes her, Sassafras. <laughs> I mean, really, that yeah. that album this, that's just her. I mean, I love her music. Her voice is so bold, yeah. and I love it. And it's just so unique. And you've got to hear this young lady. If you haven't, you need to hear this. Yep. So you know what? That's seeing the next uh, video. This really is an incredible song, Tammy. You are wonderful. And everybody, you really need to check her out. And now, we're going to do our sales pitch. This is me, Michelle Lentacket. This is Sean. And we would like for you to hit that subscribe button. I noticed that over 70% of the people who watch us aren't subscribed. Hey, what are you waiting for? It's free. Just hit that red uh, subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when we're going to post another video. Please thumbs it up and comment if you like. And please join our Patreon. Patreon helps us get more money so we can do better videos with better equipment and that's always better you know so we have social media that you can join the links are in the description below so thank you everyone keep supporting attack and attack and entertainment and really quick just before if you do join our patreon you'll get a uh, little extra bonuses like you'll get early access to episodes of mr monkey mr hopper and who wouldn't want to miss that <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> Bye, everybody.